हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस योर चैप्टर मोशन एंड टाइम क्लास सेवन्थ साइंस होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग एंड कंप्लीटली बेस्ड ऑन योर एन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द चैप्टर व्हेन वी टॉक ऑफ मोशन एंड टाइम दैट मींस वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ टू थिंग्स इन आवर डेली रूटीन वी यूजली सी सम ऑब्जेक्ट्स एट रेस्ट एंड अदर इन मोशन द मोशन लाइक बर्ड्स विच आर फ्लाइंग fish which are swimming planets revolving around the sun and all other things which you see which are in motion so what is motion motion is when an object changes its position with time and that means if we are standing and something is moving and seems to be moving that means our position doesn't change but the object position changes example a position of a car changes with time we say that the car is in moving or car is in motion next two things you can see from this picture that is rest and motion the girl is sitting idle a boy is sleeping a old mother grandmother is watching tv all these are in rest position a boy is running a boy is cycling all these are in motion position so this is the difference between motion and rest now we have to talk about types of motion when we talk types of motion there are four different types of motion one is rectilinear motion the motion possessed by the body moving along a straight line path is called rectilinear that means <coughs> if anything is going straight without any turn that is said to be the rectilinear motion like a motion of a train on a straight bridge circular motion the motion possessed by a body when it moves along a circular path or a track that is the motion of a child in a merry go round motion of the earth around the sun or are in a circular orbit third is the rotational motion the motion possessed by body when it spins about a fixed axis is called rotational motion that means have you seen that uh, that let two which spins on its axis likewise the our earth also spins on its axis and because of which the yeah, day and nights are there fourth is periodic motion the motion which repeats itself after a regular interval of time that means the same to and fro motion is said to be periodic motion of a swing is the and pendulum so let's see what are these four types of motion as you can see from the pictures rectilinear running in straight circular you can see the dial of a clock rotational you have to rotate this ball somebody used to rotate a ball on your hands etc and periodic the pendulum next is the there is exercise a table in your book you have to write the type of motion straight line circular or periodic so you can see soldiers in a march past it should be straight line bullock cart moving on a straight road straight line hands on a athlete in a race you are talking of hands of an athlete in a race okay not the athlete we are talking of hands that are periodic pedals of a bicycle circular motion of the earth around the sun circular motion of a swing periodic and motion of a pendulum is also periodic so you can easily do this one let's see next the slow or fast motion when object takes long time to cover a certain distance it is known as slow motion as the name is there slow means very slowly something is moving and when the object takes shorter time to cover the distance is in no sir fast motion that means example you can see if your school is at a distance of 5 km from your home and you want to go to school by bicycle then it takes 25 minute to reach the school and if you go to school by school bus then the same distance can be covered only in 10 minutes so you can easily say that when you are going by bicycle it is slow motion as compared to the school bus okay and when you are going by school bus it is a fast motion so in this case there is always a comparison is there which is slow or which is fast you can see from the picture also there is a red color car in the figure 13.1 which is behind so many cars and in front of red color car there is a green color car but in the second picture there is a larger distance which is generated by the green color car so you can see that green color car is moving very fast and the red is moving slow in comparison but if you see the last one 
it is on the same steady motion as compared to the others so this is how slow and fast motion is described next is speed so what is speed it is the distance traveled by an object per unit time is known as speed so when we say distance so you can easily see when we talk of distance per unit time okay that means in time we have to see how much time it has taken so speed is equal to distance traveled upon time taken if a car is traveling a distance of 100 km in 2 hours then you can say speed of the car is 50 km per hour that means 100 km divided by 2 hours okay so this is the distance travel was 100 and time taken was 2 hours so it is 50 km per hour is the next there is two types of motion non-uniform or uniform motions so in everyday life you see there are different types of things is happening so when we say non-uniform motion that means your speed is increasing or decreasing you are not moving with a constant speed over a long distance okay. so for long duration time if the speed of an object along a straight line beeps changing that means you are when the road was empty you drive faster when the road is crowded you drive slowly so this is how you change your speed and this is known as uni non-uniform motion on the other hand when the objects moving along a straight line with a constant speed is said to be uniform motion that means the speed is constant you are moving with a constant speed so in this case the average speed is the same as the actual speed but in case of non-uniform motion when you have to calculate the average speed you have to total all the different speeds in the different time intervals you can see from the pictures what is uniform and non-uniform motion so in this equal distance in same interval of time that means 10 km to 20 km total distance travel 10 km in 5 minutes so the bar is 10 km traveled in 5 minutes next 10 km again in 5 minutes then again 10 km in 5 minutes so equal distance traveled in equal interval of time like the motion of a clock earth is revolving all these are the examples of uniform motion different distance in same interval time first the speed is higher you can see 25 km in 10 minutes then crowded situation may be there only 5 km is traveled in 10 minutes so vehicle moving in a crowd motion of a bouncing ball so these are the examples of a non-uniform motion next is units of speed so when we talk of units of speed speed depends upon the distance and the unit of time use so standard unit of speed is meter per second okay but larger value are expressed in kilometer per hour you have to remember when we talk of longer distance and small values are expressed in centimeter per second so these are the three units but generally we take meter per second next is measurement of time when we measure a time so duration or moment in which things occur is known as time how much time it is has taken or how much duration it has taken it is measured in time since ancient people used some natural events which repeated regularly after fixed interval of time and they used as a measurement of time they found sunrise every day in the morning so the time between one sunrise and the next is known by the day in a similar manner time from one full moon to next moon is called a month and if a year is fixed by taking the earth to complete one revolution of earth. so these are the different methods nowadays we use different clocks and watches are there and in ancient time there are different kinds of clocks were there but presently we are using so much different wall clock is there table clock is there now the digital clock is there which is telling me even the fractions of second if you want to note the time many times device were used in different parts of the world before the pendulum clocks became popular and these device were the sundials water clocks sand clocks these are the different examples which are used and sundial measures time by the position of the shadow cast by the sun the device which uses the flow of sand from you must have seen this sa uh, sand clocks and a device which uses the rate at which water drip from one vessel to another it is known as water clock so these are the different clocks which has been made 
you can see from the picture this is the sand dial this is the water clock and this is the on the basis of the shadow formed by the sun direct on the position of the sun simple pendulum a simple pendulum consists of small metal ball called bob which is suspended by a long thread from rigid support such that the board bob is free to swing back and forth and that to and fro motion of a simple pendulum is known as oscillatory or you can say periodic motion and galileo was the first person who studied the motion of a pendulum let's see what is pendulum you can see this is a simple pendulum in this this is a rigid spot through which a long thread has been tied and a bob has been hanging on it so this is the motion this is the main position and if the object is going from this main position to e then going back to d and again going back to e so this to and fro motion is known as one oscillation okay from d to e and again e to d and the time taken from one position to another and again will be called as the time period so let's see next is units of time in case of this the standard unit or basic unit of time is represented by a symbol which is known as s that means second is the basic unit one hour you means 60 minutes and one minute means 60 seconds so different units of time are used depending on the need in order to express the longer time interval the bigger units of time are used that is means day month and year day 24 hours month 30 days or 31 one year 12 months or one more unit is there light year that means the distance traveled by light in one year next is how we measure the distance traveled and the speed of the object so two devices are there for this one is speedometer and other is odometer so speedometer which is present on the dashboard of a vehicle it tells you that the speed of running vehicle that means how much speed the vehicle is running that is shown in kilometer per hour odometer is also fixed on the dashboard and it is telling you the distance traveled by the vehicle that is known as odometer and it is telling you the distance in case of kilometers so you can see from the pictures what are the odometer and speedometer as you can see this is the odometer and this is the speedometer next is graphical representation of motion a distance time graph represent how the distance traveled by a moving object change with time you can see distance time graph one side we have taken distance and another side we have taken time so when the distance time graph will give, give you the constant speed is there then the it is a uniform motion graph you can see second is there is another other methods also through which we represent this the other type of graph is this one which is known as bar graph okay so in this there are the different buildings you can see and the diagram which shows information as thin rectangles is known as bar graph next is one more type of graph we generally use to plot that is known as pi a kind of graph or diagram which shows the percentage composition of something in form of slices of a circle is known as pie chart so this was there in this year chapter we have completed this chapter hope you like the video thanks for watching do 